Hello, I'm Stryker. And I'm Falcon. And we're doing the Wired, Wired Autocomplete, Autocomplete interview. interview. We're here promoting uh, Strikeout Season 16, which debuts on October 1st, 2024. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the tenth season of the show, uh, and oh, not ten, that's uh, it's not the tenth season. <laughs> it is not the tenth season. It's the tenth year. Tenth year. That's uh, different than seasons. That's actually usually four seasons in a year, but mm -hmm. not with Strikeout. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, we're we're here to have some fun and. Uh, Definitely do an original concept um, that no one's ever done before. Of course. Uh, for an interview, yeah. Well, let's get to it, shall we? All right, first question. Uh, how does Stryker make... I lost my voice here. A challenge. I think usually I'm the one that makes the challenges. There's some truth there. Um... <laughs> It depends on the challenge. There's some challenges that I've done. Well, so Brian was a contestant for a very long time, as many people know. He's the only three-time winner. Um, but after season 10, he, he retired because I needed help. Um, <laughs> uh, the show's gotten slightly better since then. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the process, for, in my opinion, from season 11 through 16 more often than not is I come up with some kind of wild idea and I go hey can we do this in Minecraft and then Brian rolls his eyes and gets upset mm -hmm. and, and then spends three hours researching and then all of a sudden there's a challenge ready yep That's is, that, is that accurate yeah <laughs> okay and then we do that every single time for every challenge in the span of like a week yeah yeah next question uh, would Striker rather have five hundred thousand dollars or have dinner with dan um hey dan i love you buddy but um i'm gonna take the money and run i'll have dinner with dan oh okay if you I mean, you're taking the money so <laughs> there's no money left for me i mean was it eat that or eat alone i mean come on dan's gonna be pretty good company right maybe I mean, if it's if his dinner time is like anywhere near his quality as TDM, mm -hmm. um, I'll just end the sentence there. Okay, all right, moving on. Next question. Okay, uh, this one's a weird one. Uh, really? Yeah, sure. Tomorrow. Okay. Uh, does Falcon accept fiscal bribes? <laughs> For how to win strikeout. Um if you do, I'm gonna be upset. I'll just have dinner with Dan, and if they show up <laughs> for that, then I'll I'll teach them how to play. If anyone would like like be able to give tips on how to win strikeout. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess this is a better question. Sorry. Uh how 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 to win strikeout. How to win strikeout. Don't lose. That that word that's what that's what's worked for me. <laughs> did, did it also help playing against a lot of cast members that were not ex That also <laughs> helped. <laughs> Although I did win with people that were good at the game. The victor season you get credit for. Mm -hmm. How many challenges did you win in that season? I don't know. Um, including the finale, Falcon won two challenges in season X. Two I, I won the one that mattered. I, I mean, <laughs> you got a point there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sea Dog. All right, next question. How did Stryker discover or start playing? What do you think it's going to say? Uh, Fortnite. Dummy. Minecraft. Um, I should have guessed. I think my first introduction to Minecraft was watching the creatures. Mm -hmm. um, that was uh, like Kutra, Gas Mexican, Uber Action Nova, those guys um, back in the day, and watching their Treehouse series. Um, I think I watched that, and before I actually like got really into Minecraft. Uh, what about you, dude? Uh, I think it was probably watching you play Minecraft. <laughs> it probably was. Yeah, I I remember 
I was afraid of like the monsters at night in the world, so I would hide in my house because I was young at the time. And I remember I was building my house on the same seed that your survival world was in. And oh, so yeah. when you found diamonds, I found out where they were and then went to the same place on my world and mined those same diamonds. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I remember that one house we made on a server. Oh I think it was like we would we played on the same account, but we would just like mm -hmm. switch out who was playing. It was like on a beach in. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We played on that one for a long time. It's weird how you can like I can like vividly remember a world that I have not seen in twelve years at least, mm -hmm. maybe more. That's crazy. You'll have any worlds like that? All right. Is Striker from? Another planet. Don't I mean, hell no. <laughs> I, look, hey, I, I'm younger than you are. You showed up before I did. I don't know. I don't know where you came from. Next question. <laughs> All right. Does Striker think? No. No, he doesn't. Uh, Positively, definitely not of himself. Yeah, yeah, I think I do. You know, uh, my <laughs> one thing my fiance always jokes about with me is because I, I told her, you know, when people like you'll see a group of people or friends of yours or even just like acquaintances talking, well, some people have this like internal thing of like, oh, they're talking bad about me right now, right? You ever had that? Yeah, I, I pretend that they're talking positively about me. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm usually in a good mood because of it. Uh, I don't know if you realize this. When this comes out, she won't be your fiance. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. Well, actually, no. When this comes out, she still will be. When strike, when this comes out, uh, she 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 won't. Ah, that's because we're breaking up. Ah, yes. Not the other way. <laughs> Next question. Cat's not watching. Hi, cat. Frank says hi. You have a cat? Oh, wait. I <laughs> guess Ramona said you no, have a cat. <laughs> oh, so, okay, I understand now. I didn't know what her name was. What is your hope and plan for the future of Strikeout? Hmm. I would like you to answer first. Uh, more Strikeout? I'm okay with that. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think most of our our seasons get built when like terrible natural disasters occur. So, we, maybe less strikeout. <laughs> which season did we build during Hurricane Harvey? Uh, I think 13. Uh, sure, why not? 13 or 14, one of those. We um we built a season because the entire world was flooded, but our house was fine, but work was closed and so for a whole week we were just inside with power and electricity internet and so um we built the season of strikeout so i'm not saying i'm pro natural disasters i am pro strikeout though but i'm pro strikeout yes i Next hope for more strikeout without natural disasters yeah that, so the reason there hasn't been as much strikeout as we would like is there haven't been as many world ending events Y'all need to talk to somebody upstairs and change that. Or 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 not. Next question? Next question that we should get off this topic. <laughs> Alright. What are Striker and Falcon's favorite albums? Hmm. Favorite albums? Like music albums? I assume so. Okay. Not like so... In, in my head, like when, when I think back on like what what, uh, what albums I feel like were were perfect for me at least whenever I was growing up, uh, watching American Idiot from Green Day. That's mm. the one that, that stands out to me. Like every song on that album was spectacular. Lately, stuff I've been listening to, listen to Shine Down. Uh, their newest album has been pretty good. Uh, Twenty One Pilots, uh, Clancy just came out a couple months ago. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, Eminem's uh, Death of Slim Shady. I had that on repeat for a while. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the kind of stuff I'm listening to lately. How about you? Uh, I have to second the Green Day and Shine Down as well. Um, and then I also got to throw ACDC in there. I feel like oh, okay. There's 
an infinite number of ACDC songs that I've listened to since I was a kid. Is there an so, album that stands out to you as like the ACDC album? I don't think so. Well, that's the it's an album, not song. Yeah, well, I didn't get time to think, so, you know, whatever. Every strikeout contestant. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> this is the biggest question we've had yet. <laughs> All right, every strikeout contestant versus... <laughs> versus a lot of stuff. I don't know what's coming up here, but... <laughs> <laughs> One billion lions. Which side are you on? Do we get to respawn? Are the lions in Minecraft, or are they in real life? I, I, are... I believe this is real life. Real, real life. life. The lions are in real life. Are the strikeout players in <laughs> Minecraft, or are they in real life? You're deciding the rules, remote. <laughs> well, we'll say um, they get help from they get one life in Minecraft, so no respawning. Wait, so but they're playing in the game. Mm -hmm. Against real but lions. The lions are in real life. Okay, yeah, so we've got like health potions and infinite healing. Okay. Imagine VR. Like some of these guys. There's some guys on here that'd be like, dude, they're, they're pretty skilled, but then I get them off the keyboard. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I, they're in the game. They have one respawn. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet on the lions so that you have to defend the strikeout contestants. Oh God. Okay. Um. So. Oh trying to think of like wh who, who's our fearless leader um i i'm, I'm gonna point dark as leader master general <laughs> i'm definitely going for the lions then. <laughs> yeah but there's a billion of them but look if the look if the strikeout players just if they just take they go <laughs> and they do this I, yeah but billy what if the lions what if they formed a ladder can the lions form a ladder? What is this? World War Z? There's a, there's a billion of them. Okay. What about right. you know about the lion ladders? Uh, yeah, so um, in previous debates, it's been cited that lions can form lion ladders, boats, airplanes, you name it. Because a billion is a lot of them. You know what? I think you're lying about the ladders. I'm in creative. You can't hurt me. So, what strikeout? What strikeout? <laughs> it's a strikeout's a game show uh, in Minecraft. Next is question. The, is <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can't leave it there. <laughs> Let, let's find out what they want to know. <laughs> um, inspired. What inspired strikeout? Maybe we break this down and answer this in, in pieces. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be here for years. <laughs> okay. So, what inspired strikeout? Um. Honestly, uh, I, I think I, I, I give credit to two things: uh, the Knox Crew game show, because hmm. uh, they were, you know, they, they, I think as far as I'm concerned, they were the first Minecraft game show. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. Um, and then I made Strikeout based on what I thought the TV show Survivor was. I, I had never seen Survivor. I forgot that. <laughs> And I've cited that a couple times because that's just that's, that's once I found out what it was, I was like, oh, this is nothing like Survivor. But uh, anyway, uh, okay, let's just get through this. Uh, what inspired you to start Strikeout? Hmm. It's kind of the same answer, right? I hmm. mean, um, what inspired me to start Strikeout? I don't know. I was looking for something fun to do with the with my friends. We had done the our YouTubers chat for a while. Um, and we had a gr good group of people and I wanted to organize a competition with them. I think that's probably all it came down to was trying to do something fun with friends, um, which, you know, is kind of the best way to go about this kind of stuff, I think. Um, yeah. I agree. Uh, let's see. What's your personal favorite challenge in strikeout history? Hmm. I think... Maybe one. my favorite one that I didn't play is Tug of Score. Yeah, that's probably... I think that's... <sighs> it's a really good challenge. It's an even better episode. Yeah. How about this? What's, what's a challenge that you didn't play in and you didn't help make that you like? Do those exist? 
Probably, I'd have to think about it. <laughs> season 9 and Season 8, probably. You didn't have a ton of involvement in those. Season 9 and Season... Hmm. Maybe yeah, sailing through the slot. There, yeah, there was a lot place. of there's a lot of elytra challenges in season nine. I didn't get to play. Sumo skies. Oh, sumo skies. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The gauntlet. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would have been fun. The gauntlet's classic. Um, I think personal favorite challenges. Man, it's I really liked golf. <laughs> I really did. Yeah, I thought golf was really cool. It, it was it was stupid tense for no reason. Mm-hmm. Um, tug of score is the right answer, though, I think. There's challenges in 16 that give it a run for the money. Yeah, I was um, going to say, that. There, there might be one in Season 16 that might be my new favorite challenge. Are, are we thinking? Uh, I don't, I don't want to say it. No. Anyway. There's some good episodes in Season 16. Not that we're advertising or anything. No, never. Can Falcon? I Probably can. not. Okay. I, I'm going to say that I can. Eat more. Hot dogs than Striker in an hour. Can you eat more hot dogs than me in an hour? I, I have chosen my stance and I'm sticking by it. I think I can. I, I, I don't. What have I eaten that day? How many hot dogs am I allowed to throw at Falcon in order to, to help secure my victory? I think if you're preparing for a hot dog eating contest, you probably haven't eaten anything. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. I think I get hungrier than you do. I'm sticking by my stance. <laughs> All right. How did Stryker... I wonder how, every day. How did Stryker... How did Stryker name the... Something happened here. <laughs> Remote, what happened? Ah. I'm gonna guess this says the strikeout game show. <laughs> this this question didn't fit into the gimmick. <laughs> no, it did uh, not. The team had fun with that one. <laughs> How did Striker name the strikeout game show? The striker with the strikeout striker name. It's I see the strike, but then you go out. Did I walk off frame? Sources are saying that people weren't looking at the camera at the moment. Um, what is this guy doing? I don't we'll, know. We'll assume you did. <laughs> okay. If not, it's probably, funnier. I, I probably didn't. <laughs> um, it, it's it's a play on the words with striker and strikeout and 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 uh, you know in in baseball you strike out. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's it. I'm not very creative with names. Well, really? actually, I say we're not creative with names, but I I like some of our our names. For, mm -hmm. for strikeout challenges. I agree. The, the first episode's got a really good name. It, it didn't have it until like the day before we filmed either. Yeah, we came up with a better one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we have we have lots of good fun names. What, what do you think is the best name for a challenge in strikeout? Best name. Ooh. The two that immediately pop into my head are Bridgetory and Tug of Score. The tug of score is like not funny, but it's no. fantastic. Uh huh. Those are ones that just feel right. There are some funny names though. I'm trying to think of some of them. I like assassinate the assassin. Yeah, it's a good one. Um. Hmm. Drips fleet. Blazing saddles. Drips fleet's really good. Mm hmm. There's a couple of good ones. Yeah. Yeah. What is strikeout? What is the worst episode of strikeout you thought would be good? Hmm. Ooh. I think one that stands out was Battle Islands, which is one. Yeah. That I thought was going to be a lot better, but it ended up being not a lot of fighting and mostly trying to avoid each other, I think. Mm -hmm. And so it just ended up not being as good of a challenge as it could have been. Um, that's one that pops into my head. Uh, the worst episode I thought would be good. So I think um, 
mm, Bo Spleef from season 12. I thought that one did not. I think it came out okay on video. But God, it was like the the last 15 minutes were were one person being chased by another person as they ran around the perimeter of the arena. The one, oh, you know, I have the answer. Oh. Map quest. <laughs> but it's not my fault. <laughs> what are you talking? Everybody wants map quest again. What are you talking about? Map quest could have been awesome. And it was so bad because it was the start of the season. <laughs> the surfer crashed on us like 16 times. It was it was terrible. I, I feel like it's like we just did this question. What what, what is strikeout? <laughs> There's a lot of this is just kind of a strikeout questionnaire. That's true. That's true. Um, what is the best episode? Uh, strikeout. You thought would be bad. The best so, uh, episode we oh. thought would be bad. Hmm. Um, so season 15, mm-hmm. I did not have much faith in shockingly accurate. Yeah, it was my, I, it was my idea for that one. And I think the concept is cool, but I just felt like it wasn't going to come out across very well. And everybody mm-hmm. seemed to really like it. Um, I, so. my, my answer for that is also from season 15. And I think my answer is Pathfinders. Oh, which... you, Really? I was I was worried that it wasn't going to come out very well, and that everyone really loved it. Oh man, I, I always felt like that one was going to be a winner. Yeah, that was one of the ones that I feel like we had, we didn't have like a concrete idea of exactly how it was going to play out, and then it, it it worked out really well in the season. So, mm-hmm. all right, who do strike out? We do. We do. You think is the best? All around strikeout contestant in terms of skill. Hmm. Statistics would say it's you. Yeah. But um I was recently reminded in the strikeout discord, because somebody was asking about it, that I have the best average placement in seasons, aside from people who only played one time. Mm Mm-hmm. Which is pretty good. Hmm. Gupta's got to be up there. Mm-hmm. And this will be not including anybody in season sixteen because we have not revealed the cast yet. Yes. Who really pops when you when you start thinking about high? Sea Dog's up there for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, made it to back to back finales. I, I think you also have to think of skill in terms of getting far in the season as well. I think I feel like you have to throw Dark up there. I mean, he's got to be with how close he gets every single time. Unless he's smart enough with net. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's a, it's a tough challenge. It's hard to win strikeout. You you can't just be good at Minecraft. That doesn't just automatically get you a win. Um, it, it's there's you have to you have to be well rounded and take your time and not get targeted. <laughs> yeah. Um. So uh, yeah, one of those people. Yes. Which of strikeout? This is another long question. Let's see. Which of the last five strikeout seasons does Falcon think he could win? Ooh. All right, so you haven't done 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mm-hmm. What, which of those does Brian have the best shot at? You got to factor in cast. Mm-hmm. You got to factor in the challenges. I feel like I am better at most of the season 14 challenges than a lot of the other people and I know I got to play them a lot which is probably the reason for that (laughs) (laughs) but I feel very confident in a lot of the season 14 challenges where I feel like a lot of the contestants did not feel super confident in a lot of them I think 14 had a much better stacked cast Mm -hmm. I think season 12 is probably the answer. It was a bow-heavy season, and you're pretty good mm. with the bow. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not saying it guarantees you a win or anything, but um, having not as many huge threats out there. What do we have here? Has Striker ever considered doing real life? That's insult. Striker. Has Striker ever considered doing real life Striker? 
Myers. Oh, killing people. Gotcha. Mm. While um, they were on the beach. It, without the murder part of it, I, you know, if we ever did, and I, I've joked about this forever, if I ever won the lottery, mm-hmm. you know, not, not just like a million, like, give would be like 20 or 30 million, all right? So, something su- substantial, right? Mm-hmm. I think I would fly out a cast of real life strikeout contestants and do a real life season the strikeout. I think that'd be fun. That'd be awesome. Oh, and yeah. we would absolutely do striker Myers, and I would have real knife. I mean, um, a, a plastic knife. Mm-hmm. And take... go chase it. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, I would need a bow and arrow. So maybe like a BB gun or something. Airsoft. Nerf gun. Nerf gun. No, eh, something more painful. <laughs> Less lethal, but still painful. Got it. Got it. I don't want to kill him. I just want them to regret making the choice to come. <laughs> and the season would, you know, it'd be battle worn, you know, so they'd have like over the season, they have scraped knees and bruised elbows and that kind of crap. And so it's like a football game. You got to survive all the way through the season. You can't just go all out in one challenge. That sounds about right. <laughs> That'd be fun. Hey, fun that. Um, mm-hmm. wh- whoever's in charge of the lottery. We're no longer promoting the next season. We're actually starting a GoFundMe. Yes. Yes. GoFundMe.com, if that's what it is, slash strike in. Because it'd be in real life. That's a terrible joke. It's happening. It's not happening. (laughs) Okay. You ready? Mm Mm-hmm. Which strikeout season... Does Stryker think he could win? Which season all of, do you think you could win? All of them. I built all of them. I, like, I, I, I didn't build all of them, but, but I, I, I basically I was involved in the building of all of them. I know how to play them all. I could win all of them. I beat all you guys. You guys are all... Uh, I don't know. Do you think I could do it? Uh, Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think the later the seasons get, the less chance I have of winning. <laughs> I think season one, I've got the best opportunity. I have to, I gotta beat you and Dark. Are you saying you could beat Dark in one round of Sumatory? I think I could. <laughs> I think I could. Uh, season two, I just gotta die faster than you. Season three, I gotta parkour better than Jarrett at the end. Okay. I can do that. Uh, season four, I got to play Pac-Man with Dark. They Neither one of him, not him or Jared, did good in season four. I don't remember. It was so long ago. Yeah. Um, but do you think I'm not going to go through all the seasons. Do you think you could, could make it to the finale? I can make it to the finale. Maybe we'll do a I season think. breakout where you have to compete. Maybe that's this season it's not oh it's not Robert, what do you think about that um i thought falcon was gonna come out and say none i think he has a shot uh, at early, some I of can, them i can see it in the early seasons i'd i'd say mm-hmm. that the first one where where you're not there anymore falcon is where he'd uh, start having the chance um yeah you, you were a good like you said you were 13 when you played you were a pretty good 13 year old at the game that was, that was crazy mm-hmm I think they were just old. This but, is true. But plumbers. No. <laughs> Some people do say that you were against plumbers and that your wins are up for debate. But um, that was uh, me. Plumbers. Plumbers. I'm missing the joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, in the old NBA, um, in the LeBron versus uh, Michael Jordan debate, some people say that Jordan played against plumbers as their second job. Oh, that, that's a thing. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Never heard that before. Not once. Gotcha. I, I thought he was talking about the plumbers from Ben 10. <laughs> you were looking at me like I was the idiot, but you had no idea either. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> All right. Uh, there'll be a cut in there somewhere. Um, but hey, uh, thanks for watching this Wired Autocomplete interview. Wired Autocomplete we- interview. I wanted to point out, by the way, this is a totally original idea we didn't steal from anybody. Mm-hmm. Um, not from Wired and definitely not from Dan and Luigi. Um, go, go watch their show when it comes out, too. TDM's coming out soon. Um, go watch ours first. 
Yeah, well, I mean, it's got to come out first. Yeah. But, but even when it doesn't, also come see us first. Yes. Uh, Striker's going to come out on uh, October 1st. Um, I'm going to pick out a time later. It'll be announced. Um, that's on a Tuesday. And then after that, it'll be every Sunday, uh, probably around 2 p.m. CST uh, for a bunch of weeks. Because the show has a bunch of episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This was fun. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Anything else doing? All right, bye. Yeah. No. You threw your axe. Oh, by the way, we, we like, we could see it the whole time. <laughs>